Hello guys, I'm back. I hope everyone is well. encompasses many fundamental scientific questions. The first one, what are the basic equipment for life? And meron bang buhay sa kabilang planeta? Katulad ba ito ng ating mundo? And how likely is the evolution of intelligent life? The second one, we have the panspermia from the Greek word seeds everywhere, also known as cosmosic theory. The seed and life exist all over the universe and can be propagated through space. Okay, well, it contains extra mobile organisms or organisms that survive in extreme conditions. Life then had come to Earth in the form of resistant spores. Well, it suggests that life existed in outer space and was not transported by meteorites, asteroids, or comets to our receptive Earth. In this case, the origin of life is not related to environment possible in the early Earth. The third one, we have divine creation. Life was put on Earth by divine forces, common to many of the world's religions and cultures. Class, remember, creationism, the belief that universe and the various forms of life were created by God out of nothing. It responds primarily to modern evolutionary theory, which explains the diversity of life without recourse to the doctrine of God or any divine power. And the last one, we have the origin from non-living matter or the physiochemical theory. A natural selection favored changes in the rate of reproduction, eventually lead to first cell. Did you know class in this theory? The evolution of early life on Earth, organic molecules, and subsequent simple life forms first originated from inorganic substances. According to conventional hypothesis, 
The earliest living cells emerge as a result of chemical evolution. Take note that class. Non-living matters those chemicals that already in the environment. Example, water and clay, minerals in the ocean, or gases present in the atmosphere. That's it. And now let's move on to the early life forms. We have the oldest rock, 3.8 billion years old. No fossils have been found. Fossils that showed remains of organism with differences in structures from the simple form of life was seen in rocks about 1.5 billion years ago. So class, you are curious about how did multicellular organism evolve? Multicellular organisms are believed to have evolved from unicellular eukaryotes, from single eukaryotic cell like unicellular algae, form multicellular aggregates through association with another cell-producing colonies. From colonial aggregates, the organism evolved to form a multicellular organism through cell specialization. We have protozoans, sponges, and fungi came to being. The first fossilized animals which were discovered 580 million years ago were so bad. The continuous process of cell specialization brought the same emergence of complex and diverse plants and animals, including human beings. Take note this class, this is important. Multicellular organisms, from fungi to humans, started out life as a single cell organisms. Their cells were able to survive on their own for a billion years before aggregating together to form a multicellular groups. And now we have some example of protozoans, sponges, and fungi. You can search this on Google for detailed parts. And also we have the Ekinsonia, a 558 million years old oval shaped creature that bore a superficial resemblance to segmented jellyfish. Well, it was so well preserved that they still contain molecules of cholesterol. And now let's have an activity of picture analysis. Study and analyze the diagram shown below and answer the process questions. The timeline shows the history of life on Earth. And now we have some questions. The first one we have, what was the first form of life? The correct answer is, yes, the correct answer is prokaryotes. Number two. When Earth's history did life develop? What is your answer? Yes, the correct answer is based on the diagram, the first form of life on Earth was developed 4 billion years ago. And the last question we have, how long did it take for complex life to develop? Remember class, eukaryotes, the complex form of life was developed 2 billion years ago as shown on the diagram. From the first simple form of life, the prokaryotes, it took 2 billion years ago for the eukaryotes to develop. That's it. Simple as that. In order to preserve and conserve various life forms, we must plan to...